And so, the time is nigh. Mbappe, Messi, and so much more. Lionel Messi stares up at his final peak. Kylian Mbappe prowls in the foothills of greatness. From the Andes to the Alps, from River Plate to the banks of the Seine, our planet unites around its ultimate game. Since I'm a young, young, young guy, I have only one dream is to, to be a professional player. So I think that's the, the, the dream of my life. My dad, he was coach uh, on the club of my city and he was coaching my, my, my big brother. And all the time I went to the stadium, I, I was there and I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna do like them. The passion started there. Since I'm young, uh, I was born in a stadium, you know, uh, all my family love football. and. I was like this, and I can say I can say more thanks to the player. You watch player, you know when you are favorite player idols. Uh, the life I have now, I always dream about. But there is some feeling you you never you will never have uh, like you have when you are the children. You play with your friend till the night and all the things. Yeah. That's that's type of thing you cannot have now, you know. But it's a different thing. I, I love my life, you know. I love to play the Champions League game, the World oh, Cup, yeah. oh, yeah. all this type of thing. It's a big, big dream. It's like in life, you cannot have everything. In a team where Monaco was, it was a city boulevard. We played, we played, everyone left us, 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 tous les week-ends, c'est du 5-3-2. Personne vient nous chercher, c'est tout le monde attend le bus. J'ai commencé, j'ai joué à droite. J'avais jamais joué à droite. Euh, j'ai appris un nouveau football. Monaco, c'est un grand club, mais tu arrives dans le PSG avec des stars internationales, des, des gens qui sont des, des patrons de leur pays, des gens qui ont tout gagné. T'intégrer dans un vestiaire, c'est compliqué aussi. Okay. Uh, we speak in Spanish. Some, some guys speak French too. Okay, nice. But nice. at the start, that's not easy because if the yeah. guy come and don't speak English and French yeah. and speak only Spanish, some guy in the team don't speak Spanish. Me, I speak Spanish, but uh, uh. there's a lot of guys who don't speak Spanish. Though. And I think the style is important, you know, when you wear the right shoes to go to the game, mm -hmm. you're good, the right jersey in your size, you have the nice haircut, you yeah. know, yeah. You, you go on the pitch, you have confidence. But now it's more important than before. Before the guys come and play, you know, it, the most important was just to play. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a little bit more than that, you know, to be stylish. Yeah. Everybody Absolutely. have his own style. They want to show to the world, okay, that's me. When right. I was a kid, I, I just wanted to be a footballer, to yeah. be honest. Right, right. Still uh, I you. ate, I slept, uh, <laughs> to be a footballer. Yeah, and yeah. I still grew up, I'm just 23. I opened my mind to all the things, you know, to the culture, to the, all the things. And, and I want these kids to, uh, to have this chance to open their mind and to follow their dream. And for that, I give the opportunity to them to, to learn another culture, another mentality, right. to see how the world is. Mm -hmm. Watch, open the eyes, open everything, is what I learned from football too. You have a team, you have a collective, you have to learn with the guy from different culture. The collective spirit, the most important thing if you want to win. You can have the best player in the world, best teammate in the world. If we are not in the same spirit, we cannot win important things. Because moi, des fois, je vois des joueurs, quand ils arrivent, ils me parlent de, je vais gagner le ballon d'or avant de penser au trophée d'abord en équipe. J'étais comme ça aussi. J'étais comme ça, mais quand tu gagnes des trucs importants collectivement, moi j'ai la chance de, de gagner des choses importantes collectivement, bah tu réalises qu'en fait c'est eux qui te propulsent. Et toutes les fois où j'ai pensé que je pouvais tout faire tout seul, on n'a pas gagné. Because you have to be ambitious in the life. Yeah. Not only in football, me I'm ambitious in the football because it's my job, but mm -hmm. everybody is ambitious. You need to have ambition in your life and everything you do, you have to keep the patient. Everybody wants to do big things. Uh, when you are kids, you dream about a lot of things, but you have to keep that because in your way to the success it, it's gonna be a tough moment. You have to keep your focus on the right way. That's not easy because you're gonna make mistakes. And that's not a bad thing to make mistakes. Right. The bad thing is to repeat the mistake, you know. I missed my penalty uh, against Sutherland. We, we lost. And in France it was a little bit difficult. And the best way to, to have your revenge, if you can say something like this, is to work. To go to training, I was in training, I was like, okay, I'm focused only on my game. Uh, I'm here, I play in a great team, uh, the best team in the league, one of the best in the world. I'm happy, uh, I have to play my game, to, to love my game, to love my job, and the things will be easier. And after I restart to score goals, to be, to be good, to be great on the pitch, and after the things, the things come easily and we won the league and it was better. I think you have to go through difficult moments like that. Yeah. You know, you don't understand it at the time, but 
when you come out of that, then you understand why it happened. It was a good experience now because now I know I know what it is. Uh, to make a mistake, you can learn from it. Mm -hmm. I made some mistake and I learned from it. But mm -hmm. it's, it's all about this, all about to keep the process and to stay focused on what you do. To give the passion, you know, to have always this passion in you. Well, you, you don't go out with your friends, you stay at home, you sleep good, you eat well. Sometimes you want to go to a good restaurant, but you have to eat your things because the nutritionist gives you a program. You have to, to think about your body every time. But for me, that was not sacrifice because like I, I always said, uh, football is my passion. And when you love what you do, uh, you don't see the things like sacrifice, you know. And since I'm young, in my mind I was like, okay, I'm gonna do everything to be a football player. So it's for us, for me, it's not sacrifice, but I know to be the best, you have to work. You have to work more than the other one because everybody wants to be to be the first one to win something, to to be the first one to play the World Cup, to, to be the first one to be with all the fans. So you have to work. You have to be a little bit lucky because I was a little bit lucky, but you have to create this luck. I think sometimes in the life I'm too competitive, you know, it's good to be competitive on the field, but sometimes in the life you don't need to be like this. And me, I always want to show that I'm better, or I'm, I'm, I'm the best, I can win, I can do things. I love the pressure, you know, I'm this type of guy I need to to have the pressure to play. Favorite work of memory is easy. Yeah, it's going to be one for all my life to feel this atmosphere, to feel all the people. That's my life. That's what I want to do. And, and to yeah. be honest, uh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared yeah. to lose. I'm not scared to do bad thing on the post. To be nice because it's yeah. important when you play like 15 games in the season, you have to be happy in what you do. Yeah. You have to work to work, but to stay calm, to be healthy and to be happy. I have no time to appreciate the moment, that is. You know, when you win something, you want to win another things because you are hungry for more, always. When you want to be uh, one of the best players of the world, everybody wants to be one of the best or the best player in the world, so yeah. you have to work every day. And uh, that's what I want to do. And I think I'm in the good way. Me, I'm always nervous. Uh, I'm always nervous because uh, every game is a new page to write history. I'm always thinking before the game, I want to show uh, I'm the best, I want to show I'm good. When you, we, we lost the final of the Champions League with Paris, you finish the game, you, you go, you take your medal and you see, you see the cup, but that's not for you. So you just want to cry, you just want to cry and you have to accept that and to, to work to come back in the final and to win it. You know, when you are favorite player idols, you watch on TV, you say, yeah, I want to be like him. Today it's him, maybe tomorrow it will be me. And, uh, and thanks to God, now it's my turn. It's my turn to inspire people. You don't need to be a professional player to inspire people, you know, to create something. Absolutely. Uh, you create something in, in your in your thing. Mm -hmm. The guy from the camera creates something in his thing. You yeah, know, yeah. me, I create my thing on the beach and mm -hmm. off the beach. And you can inspire the guys. <laughs> Dale guay